In this question, we need to determine the radial and transverse components of velocity and acceleration when theta is pi over 3. Let's write down what we know from the question and diagram. We know the angular velocity, the position equation, and the theta value at which we are supposed to find the values. The first step is to take the first and second time derivatives of our position equation. Remember to use the chain rule from calculus. If you don't know how to do this, there is a link in the description. Now we can figure out the radial component of velocity using this equation. Let's substitute the first time derivative and the value of angular velocity. Now we can figure out the transverse component of velocity. Let's substitute what we know in. We can now move on to acceleration. The second derivative of the angular velocity is zero since it's a constant. Those are our answers. Thanks for watching and good luck with your studies.